welcome along my name is eddie and this is my vlog and today is august the 7th and our busy harvest is continuing we're uh, heading down here to the bottom uh to jump in the combine and get this done today just sort of squeeze around the back here uh we have uh, a nice field of canola ready to cut so we're going to be getting into here today we're going to cut it across this way which is uh, an east west kind of cut and uh, and yeah i think it should be good are we yeah we should we should be good right let's turn this off there we go because we're going to want to get this started first so i need to attach my uh oh, i need to attach my head up I had this combine sitting down here for a little bit. It's been down here a couple of days. Let's just maneuver this. I didn't put my tractor and trailer in the best of places. Certainly not going to be a good place when we want to unload in a bit. But I wanted it to be out of the way. Let's just get into there and lift it. There we go. That's got it. Right, we need to hook everything up. So, uh, hook everything in. Brilliant. And then we want to back her off. And hopefully, we can get the tractor out of the way. Actually, it should be alright. That tractor should be okay where it is. Around. Right. Let's just check everything's working. So we'll put this down and I've got to do a few checks and then uh, we should be able to get started. Everything's looking good. So let's just oh, start up the header and lift that up. And start up our thresher as well. All good. And then in we go. Whoop, whoop. Slow it down. There we are. And she's, wow, she is running beautifully through this. So we had some issues a little while ago and, uh, and yeah. We, uh, we've been fiddling with the combine a bit. And, uh, and yeah, now she seems to be just running beautifully through all this. Uh, of course, the canola is a little bit lighter than the other crops we've been doing recently on this farm. And, uh, and she's uh, running at a really good pace through this. So, uh, yeah, we're going to get this headland knocked out and, uh, and we'll have a look at how we're doing yield-wise and, uh, and the rest uh, once we get around this first part of the field. I think I'm going to slow this down a bit. This is going to clog things up if I'm not careful. Coming to the end of our first headland and, uh, yeah, we're not going as fast as I, as I initially thought I was from the, uh, from the speed we had. I thought we were going, I thought we were going very fast. I put it down to the fact that the oats and the wheat, we don't, we have been going slower through both of those, but the reason we've been going slower is because they're thicker crops. We're doing about 2.6 tons a hectare off here, uh, which is uh, not bad at all, especially for canola. Canola, of course, being a much smaller grain than either, um, well, yeah, much smaller grain than either um, wheat or uh, oats, uh, and so it takes up less space. Uh, we should make it most of the way around this field, uh, I think. We're, we're up but four and a half thousand liters. Uh, so I think we're gonna end up in the top corner uh, when we need to empty. So I'm gonna have to run back and grab my tractor and trailer. But we are absolutely chomping through this. As I said, we are, we're running faster, but we're running faster because uh, this is a, uh, this is a much lighter crop. Around the corner carefully. 
There we go. Uh, so uh, as a result, it's um, it, we're able to process it faster through the combine, uh, and we're not getting clogged up by uh, trundling along at a nice six miles an hour. And uh, this, to me, feels so much faster than six miles an hour after our uh, previous couple of fields. So um, yeah, it's uh, it's. It's nice to be able to do uh, a nice rapid harvest when we need to in a crop like this that, that does have uh, less volume to it. Just coming up to 7,000 litres at the back uh, part of the field, which, uh, wow, I expected to be... Um, I expect to have filled up at the previous corner, so that's not too bad. Uh, we will probably make it to this corner before we have to empty, so I'm going to put my auger out now. And, whoa, slow down, because I don't want to go over 7,000. There we go. That will do. Just going to turn off that. And break on, and uh, and we'll run up the other end of the field and go and grab ourselves our tractor and trailer. Now I did say it was nice to be going through a, a, a field that's got less volume, and as a result, it's uh, it, we can go faster through it. But uh, that isn't to to say that I'm happier with a lower yield. It's just that this is a lower yield crop by volume. It is, as I said, smaller grain. Uh, you, we are able to, to take, therefore, harvest more of it to get uh, uh, before we fill the tank up. Uh, 2.6 tons uh, hectare is not bad at all. So I'm, I'm quite happy with that. Uh, but we want to, uh, to keep it going. Uh, let's unload that. There we go. Nicely into there. Uh, we did. We did actually clean this combine uh, before we uh, before we got started. Let's start that up. And uh, yeah, it's uh, it's got rather dirty just sitting down here waiting to harvest this canola. So um, yeah, <laughs> it wasn't didn't really make that much difference. It will get dirtier doing this harvest, but um, we're uh, <laughs> just sort of. Yeah, we can't win. We can, if we clean it and we leave it out down here, then it's uh, it just gets dirtier. Did I turn my tractor off? Yes, I did. Good. Let's uh, head off then. Handbrake off, and away we go. So uh, about one and a half around the field for this. Uh, I'm going to do a. I think we might try and take two more headlands. Uh, just simply because it will give us plenty of space to turn around at the sides of this field uh, and will uh, will work better for us. So uh, on we go, more headlands to get out. We're still holding at 2.6 tonnes per hectare. We're about half full actually as we come to this point. Uh, so the chances are actually we're going to end uh, end up emptying around about where we are now on the next round, which is absolutely brilliant. So we are going to take off a fourth headland. Uh, yeah, 2.6 tonnes uh, per hectare is not bad at all for this crop. Uh, we also have uh, about 14% moisture in it as well, which is a really nice moisture level. Shows the uh, how things have gone the last few weeks. Uh, with uh, with drying out and uh, apart from those those couple of days where the oats got really really damp um, we've uh, we've we've been having some good drying out with crops uh, we don't want to get it much drier than this if it does then uh, we start losing crops so we're we're picking it at a or we're cutting it at a good time uh, to prevent that from happening and uh, yeah it's it's Basically, this is the optimum time for us to be getting this canola cut. Uh, what else? Oh yeah, we've got the the bales have gone. Um, the uh, the bales got picked up yesterday. Uh, they have all been uh, they've all been taken and uh, we've been paid for those. Uh, that should uh, be a nice tidy little sum for us to uh, 
to do well off for the rest of this season. Certainly, it'll keep us, it'll keep us going through harvest. Uh, might even allow us to buy in some uh, hay bales because, as uh, as you guys know, we've been we've been struggling to get uh, hay to dry on here. And even even in the well, with harvest, we probably should have tried to get a cut in, especially if we've got a dryness of about 14%. Uh, in this crop that means that uh, the grass in general around here is going to be dry so we've got the fields down by the sheep I'm going to uh, get that cut uh, once we've got this field done uh, and uh, yeah hopefully we'll be able to to get some hay bales off there because we've got plenty of silage uh, we, we're gonna have plenty of silage on here we are uh, now we've got straw, we've, we've got both types of silage that we need, although the uh, the clover might come up for some more silage, so we're, we're going to have a look at that, see if we can get that cup before the end of the autumn again. Um, but uh, yeah, it's, it's looking like we could have this self-sufficiency thing down. Um, I do just need a bit of hay for the next couple of weeks uh, while we're trying to get this sorted. Coming back to the position where our tractor is, and we are at 7,200 litres. It is going to be almost exactly in the same place. A nice short trip uh, to our tractor and trailer. For that, yeah, look at that. Almost exactly spot on. Oh, the cutout kicked in. Let's just get that started up again yeah oh okay we're gonna turn off yeah the cutout is definitely kicking in we got the auger out so we have an automatic cutout on this combine in order to prevent uh us from pulling too much in uh the thresher will cut out when the when we get to a certain level in the tank so it's uh, at 7500 uh, liters uh, that prevents us going over the top and uh, and overloading it can be annoying sometimes sometimes you do want to overload but we we work around it uh, and it's quite a useful little thing to just make sure that we are not uh, gonna cause ourselves an issue now with two full tanks off this that's gonna leave about 700 litres uh, in here. There we go. Let's lift this up. We don't want that one. Uh, we probably want everything off anyway. Because look at that. We are looking very, very full in our tractor. Whoa. Pull it back, pull it back. Yeah, I'm going to cut it off in a minute because we're going to get too full. And that will do. I bring that in. Uh, leaves us with 498 litres in the combine. I'll turn that off. There we are. So, uh, combine's all off because we have to take this back up to the yard. And we're going to have to go and find another area to get this tipped. So this now is the reason why we cleared out this shed. We want to get this close, but not actually hitting the wall. Be good. So straighten up a bit and then we're gonna pile this over here i just want to check that we did get everything out of the way <sighs> empty bag right i'm gonna have to i had to tip this to the side and then come in and get rid of that i thought i'd got rid of that empty bag apparently i haven't ah you see that's why you get out and you check before you tip uh, we'll be fine though. We'll just tip to the side of it and it'll be good. So, tip this here. That should be alright. We might go back a little bit more. 
Wait, wait, wait. Just. He can take it. Right. And then I can go and get that bag removed. Uh, I'll just grab the telehandler quickly and get that done. And then we can head back down to the field. Oh, there it is. Yeah. For some reason, I can't remove that by hand. So, let's just go and get this out of the way. And then I'll go and move that so that uh, we don't have that problem again. And back down to the field we want. Uh, I think we're going to put this actually sort of along here because this is what we're going to be doing next is cutting into the field at this point and we've uh, we've made good progress it's a long old run down the sides of these fields though to get back to the combine and this is again this is this is the thing that gets time consuming uh when you're doing this all on your own is having to uh to run about uh get things uh going there we go. And uh, and just, yeah. And just make sure you try and get everything where you can. And you end up with shortcuts. Like, we know that... Uh, knowing that with that on this field, uh, with this crop on this field, uh, that we can get it so that our first unloading point is also our second unloading point. And therefore, where to position the tractor initially having said that in positioning the tractor there initially we just still had to run around the field and get the combine so you always you've always got to make these trips uh it's it's where you can work out how to to save those trips and how to to be a little bit more efficient with stuff um but all in all i'm, I'm fairly happy with this this is uh, this is rolling along nicely uh, this harvest at the moment and by the time we're out of this section here that has squared off the field really nicely so that is good let's cut in shall we we have got one and a half uh, thousand liters and we want to go east west now it's a lot harder to see on here exactly how we planted this but i can actually see it. it's like that there so yeah we're roughly where we want to be i think let's just uh let's see yeah i think that's about right let's uh let's get into it so this will be our line uh i think it'd be in one of those things which we ever modernized much uh come again we've got one tractor on this farm with gps on it and uh, and i find myself wanting it more and more on all my equipment and all my equipment just being that slightly bit too old to uh to be uh, properly to, to properly implement it on it's not that you couldn't produce uh put some sort of gps on these uh, but a lot of these older pieces of equipment, you don't have the the controls to the uh, to the steering and things like that. You know, they they lack the electronics to be able to do it. And and that's not to say it's impossible. It's just impractical. You end up with uh, so much cost that you might as well go and buy yourself a new combine or a new tractor, uh, you know, or, or, you know, a second-hand one that, uh, at least a second-hand one that, that then already does it, uh, rather than trying to upgrade an old piece of, of, of equipment to do something that it was never designed to do. And that's the thing. So, uh, yeah it's it's gonna be we'll see where we are but uh, the farm is the farm is going well you know it's not like we're not uh making a good amount of money on here uh, and we'll see where we are uh, after this year's uh crop has been sold uh because that tends to happen over the winter um but it will um yeah it will we'll see what that brings for for next year's farm 
Been a pretty good cut in. We got to 5,700 liters. I think we're, yeah, we've got a thin bit at the end here that we need to uh, to come back and get, which will be good because that might get us nearer 7,000 liters uh, by the time we get back to the tractor and trailer. In fact, this is, it's, it's a, a nice yield at the top end of this uh, end of this field. Uh, we, yeah, we want to get to about 700 liters, uh, 7,000 liters, sorry, uh, before we empty into the trailer. If we can do that, uh, then we're going to, uh, we can empty at about 7,000 liters. Uh, it means that we'll, uh, we won't have anything left in the combine while we're, uh, while we're going and tipping. Uh, as it is, we're up to 6,300, or 6,400 now, and uh, and I'm expecting us to hit about 7,000 meters by the time we come back up the field. It uh, it does go fairly quickly uh, when you when you're cutting. I was expecting it to be past 6,000 meters when we got to the end last time, and it wasn't. And it looks here like we're going to be pretty spot on, actually. Yeah, 6,900 litres. It really depends on how much is in this uh, thin strip at the top end of the field here. It could be enough to just throw us up. Uh, it's no, Yeah, it's not going up very fast. So, uh, I am pretty much expecting us uh, to hit 7,000 litres by the end of it. In fact, that is now going up a lot quicker there we go, 7,000 litres. So uh, we're going to be pretty much perfect for emptying. So let's get the auger out. We'll lift this all up. 7,048 litres. I'm happy with that. That is a, that is a very well-positioned cutting. Bring around. Fill it over the wheels. Oh. No. Sometimes, yeah, depth perception, not great. Right, okay, let's try that. There we go, that's going into the trailer. So fill it in over the wheels so that it spreads that initial load uh, quite nicely. And then what we can do is... Uh, when we well, we'll have to come back up this way because I don't want to move the tractor and trailer at the moment. So we'll uh, we'll come back up this way to empty again. I don't think we've got more than probably another trailer and a half total off here. Uh, so that includes this going in now. Shake it a little bit. Yeah, because look at that. We are almost halfway through this field. I would be I would be amazed if we've got much more than maybe even just a trailer left. Uh, but let's line ourselves up. Try and get it into a good row shape. Cutting in quite deep because, uh, well, it's a while before we have to empty. And across we go. Deep into the cut and coming up to 6,000 litres. Uh, yeah, we are still doing about 2.6 uh, tonnes per hectare. And uh, yeah, it, it shows by simply how much less we're uh, putting into the trailer. Uh, we were we were up to like 6, 7, I think 8 possibly on the wheat. Um, so you can see how much, how much less space... Uh, these these grains take up because it's not it's not a case of uh, such a lower yield being down to really anything more than uh, these taking up less volume. Now, have I got this right? I haven't. I'm going to miss stuff on each side, so we'll take this uh, little strip separately. Um, what I'm going to do is we're going to hit about 7,000 litres at the top end of this field, I think. Uh, so we'll empty out at that point. Uh, and if we don't quite... Well, we need to hit like 6,900-ish. Uh, I think it's 6,952. Uh, we're beyond that. We are bang on pretty much 7,000 litres. So we'll get that emptied. There we 
we are. And that goes off into the trailer, and we'll have to go and tip that. I might go and get that just that little row that we have left first. Just to, to sort of clear things up. Bring this to the front. We've got a lot on the back at the moment. There we go. There's front. And that should do it. That must be coming to near to the end of the tank. There we go. That's got the tank emptied. And yeah. Let's take this into here. I think it's actually about, I think the total capacity of that trailer is about 14,500, if I remember correctly. Whereas the, the combine and two, uh, two trailers or two, um, uh, two full tanks will do uh, 15,000. So it's, yeah, they're, they're pretty well suited to each other. Uh, this combine and trailer. In fact, we can uh, we can go ahead and tip this out as well. Actually, got that extra space, and then uh, and then we'll go and cut in at the top end of the field up there. All right, let's get this load back to our shed. Uh, nice, yeah, nice full load of uh, of canola on the back there. Let's be careful. I don't want to go in the stream that runs down the side of this field. Uh, but yeah, we'll get this back. Uh, you can see this, this grass. The hot weather has uh, has meant that it's not growing very fast. But it's just, yeah, we've never got any hay off that field at all. So I'm hoping that we've got a dry enough set of conditions now that uh, we are able to get some hay off the bottom field. We're going to give it one more try, see how we do. At the moment, though, this just needs to be got into our shed. Always fun getting this reverse into here. And, uh, yeah, considered very much just demolishing this shed and, uh, and putting in a bigger... Or, a, 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 you know, a whole grain store set up here. I mean, it's not a bad shed, but it's going to be a problem uh, if we ever do more crops than we're doing now. There we are. We'll get this all piled up in the corner with the telehandle later. I just want to get it uh, tipped for now. I got that bag out of the way as well. Right, up goes that. And, uh, and you can see how much how much oats we've had how many uh, how much uh, wheat we had and now how much uh, canola we've got it's a lot lot less canola mind you the oats were a very very large field so it's not overly surprising wait for that to come down because this uh, this bit here is a lot, lot lower. We can head back out to our field. Uh, but yeah, I don't think we've got a full trailer's worth left on the field. I think we've got like one more cut in. I uh, should clear it. So uh, let's get back down there, I think. And, uh, and we'll get the last of this canola out. There she is. We've still got the carrots over the other side of this hedge. Um, the contract is due to come in in a couple of weeks and get on those. Let's just uh, see if I can hop the fence. There we go. So, uh, yeah, carrots are looking really good, actually. Uh, we've got, um, as I said, we've got a contractor coming in who's going to be doing the actual uh, harvesting. Uh, we'll be doing... Uh, we're going to be ah, going with our tractor and trailer here and uh, and helping to to work on that or we're going to be doing the carting for that it's one of the few jobs on the farm that i can't do alone um partly because i don't have the equipment uh the actual uh the actual equipment is uh, is too expensive for me but we need the carrots are really uh, are mainly for us for working with the sheep 
Uh, we need those in order to uh, to feed the sheep for the year. Uh, the cows don't take them. The cows are, uh, yeah, are, are very much uh, <coughs> not carrot eaters. Uh, but uh, yeah, the sheep uh, we want to we want to keep some for ourselves. Uh, and plus, the the carrots sell quite nicely as well. So that's uh, that's what we're trying to do with those. I think we're going to end up with a very lopsided cut here and that is because the top part of this field uh, has a big diagonal in it so uh, we'll have to keep an eye on that but that is uh, that is the field opened up again maybe for the last time I don't think there's an awful lot left here the maiden this end of the field it doesn't look anywhere near as lopsided as when you get to the other end. It's just such a... I, I think the slope helps to accentuate it uh, because you lose... Well, basically, your horizon disappears on that side as you go down the hill. So you end up... That ends up looking like there's a lot more field left there than there actually is. I mean, it's still fairly lopsided and we've still only got two rows on the, the bottom side of this. And, uh, and multiple on the top side. But, um, yeah, I don't think it's anywhere near as bad as it looks from down this end of the field. I think it's only uh, only a few rows to clean up. Uh, we are up to 4,431 litres. And today, I seem to be unable to do a cut-in quite right on the distance-wise, not to leave myself with a a small row left um, but we've got space in the tank uh, we should be all right and uh, and yeah we are we are gonna get at least another tank slowed off here we, we might get like two-thirds of a trailer maybe I think it's uh, it's quite um, yeah there is quite a uh, an amount left on this field more than I expected amazingly so we get this small slither cut, and it's not going to give us 7,000 litres. Uh, yeah, we're not going to get 7,000 litres off that. So I am going to go and cut down the other side. And we're going to try and work out how much... Well, I might get a cut in and back looking at this. So let's have a look. How much do we have here? Yeah, it's not that much. Let's uh, let's cut in the middle. It also kinks out at the end, uh, which is not ever going to help us uh, trying to work out how much there is here. But a smaller amount means that we can uh, just head along here, get this cut, and yeah, we're coming up to seven thousand meters now. Six eight. Six nine, so we can do up to seven two hundred, uh, seven two fifty uh, to do half a trailer, and uh, not that it matters much because there is not another seven thousand liters left on this field. Seven two forty four. Okay, we've not got enough space left in this combine, I don't think, to do ah to get a whole road back so uh, we'll get part of the way back and we'll come and bring the tractor down here it's not the most efficient way of doing it we could have with, with what we've got here uh, we could very easily have just left it so that uh, uh, we could empty it at the far end uh, it wouldn't have been an issue but um, oh, whoa 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 cutting kicked in Thankfully, I caught it before I went and destroyed a load of crop. That is the only thing about that cutting. Right, turn that off. If you're if you're not paying paying attention, the cutting will kick in to stop it going over, uh, for, stop it from overfilling. But what it won't do is actually put the brakes on on the combine. So you end up uh, with this situation where you could have your combine driving through crops while the thresher's not working. 
So it is nowhere near a perfect system at all. There we go. Pull that under. Like that. And that's right at the back of the trailer. Right, we should be able to... Yeah, once the, once the levels drop, it has no problem with me starting. to the last thousand litres that will drop off in a moment there we go down and away and just clear out the rest of this canola and then we'll be done we've cleared the rest of the field off now except for this last little bit up here I reckon we've got two cuts left maybe uh, most uh, we have yeah we're just shy of 3,000 litres yeah we're up two cuts it's not quite small enough to be a single cut uh, so uh, this is going to give us probably about another half a tank uh, if we're up to 3,500 maybe off this uh, three, actually 3,750 would be uh would be half a tank. 3,500. Uh, which, no, nah, wouldn't, wouldn't be quite a uh, quarter of the trailer. But we're not even going to get that. There we go. Right, that is everything. So let's get this over here. And emptied. I'm too far this way. Yeah, looking at that, that's good. Right now I can empty. Like so. There we go. All good. And that is the canola done for the year. Absolutely brilliant. I'm I'm pleased with this. It's It's been a decent yield off here. Uh, 2.6 uh, tons an acre may not seem like a lot. But uh, it's uh, it's more than it seems. Turn that off. I'll turn off the tractor as well. Oh, we're about to take this. Actually, we'll leave the tractor on because we're about to take that back up to the yard. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna leave this here. We've still got the carrots to do uh, We've still got all the soybeans to do, a few fields of soybeans to do uh, and uh, as I said, I want to get Some more grass cut while the Sun is shining and everything's nice and dry We might finally get some hay off this farm uh, for now, though, all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. Please give it a like, drop us a comment, and give it a share. And for all the videos from the farm, please subscribe to the channel, ring that bell, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.